on my peoples, my people, peoples, and my plant people. So I just want to kind of start this video off by shouting out my sister Nia. She got me this uh, shirt, it said Pothead on it. I think that's so funny. Got a lot of different uh, plants out there. I believe I got this uh, either for Christmas or my birthday, and I'm just not wearing it. Um, so yeah, shout out to my sister Nia and my new niece uh, Haven. Um, absolutely love you guys. But how are you guys doing? What the business is? How are your people doing? Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know, it's so funny. Uh, people tell me all the time, like, they uh, actually respond back to when I say those things. So I love to actually do it because. I'm a therapist, you know what I mean? If you don't know me, I am uh, Jamon. This is Jamonji's Plants. If you are not subscribed, please ask yourself why. I'll give you a second. This is Black Boy Joy, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, we are back in the place to be this place here. So, today we're going to be talking about my detox. Um, one of my first detox, actually. Um, really gorgeous plants in there. Um, I got my variegated shelf. I got my top shelf. I don't want to give y'all too much because you're about to see it right now. So um, I hope that you guys are doing good. I hope that your week is going good, your weekend going good. Um, hopefully you get you some plants and stuff like that to kind of repot, maybe mix some things up. I'm trying right now to kind of mix things up in here. Um, so... I'm gonna be doing a little work in here and I might make a little video off of it too. So it just kinda, I'm just kinda trying to figure it out. But I did wanna keep it going and show updates of certain plants and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I hope that you're excited. Are you excited? Cause I'm excited. If you, hopefully I can give you some energy that I'm excited and you're excited. So I can give you all some, okay, let's just go, let's do it. All right, so right now we're gonna go to my detox and then we're gonna come back right here. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a slow-mo on all the plants that's in there before I show them off. They are looking really healthy. I love these detox. Um, for the simple fact of they just keep plants organized, humidity, you can decorate them how you want to. Um, I mean, it's pretty endless. Um, so, um, if you don't have one, I would recommend one. If you have like, you know, different rare plants or plants that you just kind of care about, you got like kids and pet, uh, pets and stuff like that. Like these are very, um, very, very good. Um, I absolutely love them. So I guess I'll start from the tippy top and then I'll go down to the bottom. I have this with three shelves instead of four. Um, as you can kind of see, I got these shelves from Home Depot. Pretty much cut a, um, you know, the shelves that you put your clothes on and I just cut them to dimension and put on the rubber tabs so it wouldn't scratch my glass. Um, and then of course I got lights on there. The lights will be um, in the description, but they are automatic. Um, as you kind of see down there, they have a timer on them. Um, with this one right here, I actually can cut it off and on per my phone. Um, and it'll tell me like when it doesn't come on because we get a lot of um, rainstorms here. So with the rainstorms, um, it cuts off lights and things like that. But with this timer, um, it makes sure that the uh, light come back on. So I never have to worry about this. I would say get an automatic light. Um, it's definitely beneficial. Of course, I have the computer fans in there as most people know to put those in there. Like I said, I'll put all things in the um, description um, so that you know exactly what I use. I believe I have a video that I made. If I don't, then you know I can go over um, what is in here to the exact, just let me know. So 
Okay, let's go ahead and start. So the first plant that I have here is this Ripsalis Paradoxa. As you see, it's in a glass vase, which I know is kind of crazy. Um, it has leca and moss, but as you see, it it loves it. It grows very well for me. Um, I have like another piece of this. I'm not sure where I put it. Easily propagated. Um, all you do is have to cut it off right here and you literally put it back. As you see, there are area roots everywhere because these will latch to a tree pretty much, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm sure if I were to put it on kind of like a moss pole type ordeal, then you would be able to see that. But these are really good as you see um, more growing and it lacks a lot of light. So I have it over here by the light. Um, but it's growing really healthy. Um, I've had this piece for quite some time. They grow sort of slow, but um, I like them. Um, I think that they're pretty dope. If I could have a whole pot of it, like if I were to tear it off and just propagate it more, then, you know, I would have a lot more, but they grow pretty slow, so it'd be a minute before it can happen. If you can kind of see in there, the roots are um, booming, right? Um, they grow in there, so if you have a paradox and you're trying to figure out like how you can maybe better house it, then I definitely recommend this. Um, it's a jungle cactus, so it's different from the other cactuses, which of course I can keep this in water and it won't be uh, as affected. So Paradoxa, or, uh, yeah, Paradox, um, Ripsalis Paradoxa. So that is definitely one of my favorite um, Rip Salises, and I absolutely love it. If I see like a big uh, pot of it, I'm definitely gonna go and grab it and probably try to prop it like this right here. I like that it's at the top and it just hangs down, so it gives dimension to the um, the greenhouse or whatnot. And um, you know, it's, it could be easily decorated. I can put it there, or if this begonia leans up, sometimes it leans up, sometimes it doesn't. So it just kind of depends. Right now, it's kind of leaning because I don't think I got a lot of water in it so yeah um, next thing that we have here is this varicosum as you kind of see um, it is obviously uh, overgrown this space um, and I know I talk about this varicosum a lot a lot a lot um, the reason that I do because it was very hard for me to grow um, varicosums for a long minute and then one day I got maybe the right batch or just the right plant that loves me and it just really started to grow um, not many bad things about it um, I will say the inner nodes are the only thing that I just kind of don't like and I know I've talked about it before that I want to pretty much cut here um, so that I can pretty much put it back in a plot, pot because I like um, bushy and I would rather it be more bushy than kind of singular or whatnot. Um, it's actually starting to give me the furry back, which it wasn't um, beforehand, if you kind of see that. Um, now when you look at this, it gives me the furry and I really don't want to lose this leaf. It looks like it's kind of sunbathed at this point but it's so pretty it's absolutely gorgeous um and i definitely got to get it at this position because it's growing through the grills and i think that that's kind of funny um but once i get a chance to i'm sure i will um move it but yeah, that's my very close one. and this is a pretty good light i think this is a sensi if i'm not mistaken um but hopefully you know make sure you move it and try not to get it to at least touch the light at bare minimum, I suppose. So, um, my very close one, I love how, like, look at that sheen on there. Is that not gorgeous? Like, that's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And then I got it on there with some butterfly clips um, to grow upward. And, um, you know, for me, I know some people allow their very close one to like hang. For me, I want it to go upward just so I can get bigger leaves. As you kind of see from down here, this leaf as compared to this leaf is just major, right? Um, 
and then I'll move on from there. Uh, in the back, because I don't want to miss my little buddy back here. So in the back here, this is a smaller Thai constellation, and I think I've shown this one um, recently, and that is the newest leaf, which is pretty cool, because when I put it in here, it looked like it was going to die on me, but it's actually doing pretty well. Um, I kind of keep it in the back. It gets light, as you kind of see, like if I don't touch the begonia, um, it still gets a lot of light. And then this is the cocoa husk, um, which keeps it water retained or whatnot. And I believe there should be some bark in there. Yeah, some bark in there, um, which of course keeps it separated. So when I water it, it just drains all the way. And then um, I use uh, candle lids to put on there. So when I water it, um, just in case I don't want to take it out, I can keep it on the lid. So that just makes it a little bit easier. Um, I am in love with the Thai Constellation. I have a bigger one um, that I can show you, but it's not doing too well. Um, so I'm just trying to figure it out. Um, my friend Autumn is like the Monstera Thai Constellation elbow queen or whatnot. And I just, it's just not happening for me. I know I've had conversations with her and I mean, she had them outside of her, like any details or anything like that. So I knew it can be done in here um, but yeah it is still looking good still looking great so um hopefully by the summer maybe some more leaves i know that these kind of grow s slow so i'm not you know pressuring or anything like that not that i could or anything but um yeah this begonia is just everywhere y'all will see why in a little bit so i'm gonna lean it back that way um here in the back in my little jungle I believe this to be either the um, Skindapsis Exotica Dark Form or the Black Mamba. And I have to um, go back and look at videos of when I bought it and I will put it on the screen what it actually is. But it's such a gorgeous um, Skindapsis and I don't have many Skindapsis, but this form right here is absolutely gorgeous. As you see, um, it is multiplying at the bottom down here um, where there is a plant growing here then there's a plant growing here. You will see as I kind of go upward um, that pretty much it's growing really well. Um, it's growing so well that I actually need to um, give it another pole because it's growing through the equipment or whatnot. Um, and the leaves are actually getting smaller or whatnot. So, you know, as compared to say this leaf right here, um, it's getting smaller. It did at a certain point, if I can kind of move this, um, kind of get a little leggy. So, um, I do gotta do something about that. I probably will cut it. This will actually be my second time cutting it and I'll show you the cutting of it and the cutting is actually doing really well too. So, um, I love skin dapsis. I just think that some of them look the same. So when I can find a different looking skin dapsis, then I'll get it. Especially like, it looks leather, right? Um, a lot of the pick, pick to exoticas, they kind of look the same to me, but this one is a lot different. Um, it didn't have black in the name, so. Um, you already know how that goes, but it's a really gorgeous plant. Um, again, I have this in like a chunky mix. If you can kind of see like the bark and the perlite and stuff like that in there. And then of course the lid so I don't have to take it out. Pretty much what I would do with all of these is just kind of water at the top. I like spray it at the top and it'll trickle down or whatnot. But um, like the soil may or may not get drenched, but this right here will because of course I want it to latch on just kind of like right there um, it's not really focusing but yeah there we go so I want it to latch on because of course it will give me bigger and better leaves so that is the whole component of me doing something like that um, but it's a very gorgeous plant I'm, I'll go ahead and show the um, the cutting of it so as you see I just kind of have it in a propagation bottle and it's growing very well, as you kind of see there. Um, see my black skates over there too. 
but I just have it pretty much with plant tape going up this pole because um, I just didn't have it on a, like a plank or anything like that or a pole, but it's actually growing up. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is take the tape from right here and just place it right here because it gives it a nice little exotic look. And as you kind of see, it'll find a fitting for it so it can grow upward or whatnot, even with me not touching it. So I just want to make sure when I close the door that um, I don't cut it off. So I always just got to kind of watch that. And then I will come right here. This is the um, Brazil and it's very, very gorgeous. Um, I absolutely love this plant. Um, definitely is a pop in here. As you kind of see, if you go back, you can definitely see that lime stripe. And it's growing really well, so well, of course, that um, it's growing out of this right here. Now, there's two things I could do. I can cut it, propagate it, and put it back in here. Um, <coughs> or I can put another pole on here and pretty much have it grow up to here which I will take this, move it back, cut this, and um, push this forward. So move the skin this forward and let the Brazil get bigger. So I'm not sure what I should do. Um, if you guys have an opinion on what I should do, definitely let me know. But it's growing really great. I like how, I like the crimple leaves. Um, I think it kind of looks a little gorgeous. It kind of is kind of interesting because it kind of has that like tri-color in the beginning. Um, let me see if I get it focused. Yeah, it got that tricolor, which is so gorgeous. And then, of course, it will kind of um, get that greenish color or whatnot. And then eventually, it'll get to this right here. But right now, um, you know, you're just kind of living it now and just kind of appreciate what it looks like right now. Um, I have it in the same mix as pretty much everything goes. Um, nice little chunky mix down there. And then, of course, I got the lid to receive the water. Um, and then, of course, I don't dump the water out of there. I just let it stay because um, with this chunky mix, it will um, try to stay wet as best as possible. And then um, it'll wet the um, moss, which moss takes up the most water, honestly. The moss takes up the most water, which is okay with me because I want the roots to get into the moss at best. So this stays pretty moist. It's not wet, it's moist. Um, and then I have a spray bottle, which I don't have near me. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. So I have a spray bottle, which I'll come and just spray the moss um, periodically. And then I have some uh, Miracle Girl singles that I'll put in the water. Um, just like a little blue, a little fertilizer that I'll put in the water. Um, and it helps me just to you know, keep spraying the moss. And if you see like green moss, of course that lets you know that the moss is good and it's back alive and stuff like that. So yeah, um, Brazil is doing very well. Brazil is doing very well. Here I have my oversized um, begonia maculata. Um, as you kind of see, um, there were some like lost leaves down there, but this is growing a lot better now. The leaves, as you see, keep getting bigger and bigger. Let me actually back up so you can get a good view. Yeah. So it's growing up this steak or whatnot. It's like a bamboo little steak or whatnot. And as you see, it's growing very well. Um, really gorgeous that, I mean, you can see that red from behind due to the light. But if I like turn it around, let me go down here. If I turn around, you can see how red it is back there, which of course gives it this light. And then you can kind of see that right there. Um, it's actually really green. So if I put my hand back there, you can see that the green is there, but because of how that red is, it's like, it's like magic, which is really gorgeous. Um, I like this plant in here. Um, I think I may propagate it again. And like I said, I like bushy, so I would get it and probably put it on the other side of the stake or whatnot. And it seems to like Lekka. Um, I probably need to I'm thinking, I don't, I don't really know because I don't know if it like to be root bound because I mean, it's growing as you can kind of see, um, as you can see, uh, I mean, it's growing really healthy. Let me try to back up so that you can see, um, it's going really healthy. I'm not getting as many brown tips as I used to when it first started off. 
So that just lets me know that it's doing really well. And from my understanding, these are very easy to propagate. Um, you just cut below here and it will start to grow. So um, I think that'd be pretty cool because I can be able to keep it in here at the same time. So say I like cut it maybe about here or something like that, right? And then I'll put it back in the pot or repot it or something like that. Maybe give it just a different um, cup or whatnot, like maybe a bigger cup. I got a cup in mind too. Get a bigger cup, keep the same stick, stick this up just like it was and just kind of let them grow through each other and it'll be so bushy, it'll be so gorgeous. I'm really into like the bushy stuff. I like the singularity of it kind of going up, but when they can all grow up at the same time and face the same way, it gives you a nice bushy plant and that's what I really like right now. That's the season that I'm in. So um, I think I'm into like buying two plants, put them on one pole and they just both like just kind of rush me. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah. That is the top layer. Um, I don't think I missed any plants. No, I didn't. Okay. So I will be sitting down for this one right here because the crouch will be forever. So um, let me see. I may have to take some things out of here. I believe this one to be the white prince. Um, and I have it in Leca and Spagnum Moss. And as you kind of see in this uh, Ikea uh, cup, I think it's probably like maybe a dollar fifty cents, something like that. I just keep water in there, and it has been like that for over six months at this point. Um, and it seems to be doing well. I also have some move this luxuriant because you guys have actually already seen this luxuriant before, but I actually have this at a Barbonsier, or no, this is a Mexicana. I have a Mexicana in the same condition. Um, let me see if I can get it out without knocking everything over. Let me move some stuff real quick. Um, it's in the same condition. Pretty much got it in Lekka, Spagnum Moss. And then there should be a little water down there. Actually, it's a little dry. Okay, so I'm gonna put some water in there, but it's pretty moist because I can feel how heavy it is. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a very gorgeous plant. Um, I like how it is because it's just bushy. Like I said, I like bushy. So I don't know if I'm gonna put it on a pole because once I put it on a pole, it'll, it'll, I don't know if it'll stay the same, but I like how it is right now. Um, so I'm pretty much gonna kind of keep it that same way. Uh, I will just show you the Monstera Escoleto. Um, and as you kind of see, leaves down here did kind of die, but um, if you see it just kind of poked out of there or whatnot. So. I may have to just cut it back and propagate it just like I have some propagations over here. So this one right here, this propagation is uh, Escaletto and whatnot. And it's doing pretty well as you can kind of see the um, vines. And that right there is a new leaf. Let me see if I can kind of get it focus. There we go. Yeah, so that's a new leaf coming out. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and I like these little propagation um, bottles or whatnot. I have a couple more that I'm gonna use, but if I cut this off, well, no, I'll probably use a different one because it's so small. But um, I like this right here. So once this start to grow, of course, I'm gonna put it all together. So of course, I'm gonna keep chopping it back, uh, chopping this back, chopping this back until I can get like a few of them. And then of course, I will put them all together and you'll get to see a big bunch so this here philodendron esmeraldense i'm gonna move this over so i can take this out as you can see this nice big beautiful leaf and then we got this little baby leaf right here so gorgeous um and as you kind of see got some new leaves kind of coming off right there i got this in sphagnum moss but i don't really use that little um cup anymore i really can't take it off i just really haven't because a lot of where it's growing from is in here which is, of course, in the glass face, Lekka, Spagnum Moss, that's just kind of my combo. And um, it's growing pretty well, as you kind of see. Um, I mean, it's easy to keep this water or whatnot, so that's why I definitely recommend um, glass vases or closed containers with Lekka and Spagnum Moss. This one over here, actually, um, I don't think it has any Lekka. I believe the Escoleto just has like, um, it's a closed cup with um, 
wood chips and stuff like that, uh, reptile bark. So um, it still stays moist, which of course keep this up because as you kind of see, this pole right here is very, very dry. I mean, I just keep it there because um, it needs something to climb up. I could have easily put a, um, I could have easily put a just bamboo stick and that would have worked too. So, um, of course back here, we have um, my Monstera Escaletto. It almost kind of lost me, but this is a Monstera Escaletto. When I, so I bought an Escaletto and I split it into three. So this is one of three. I don't think that this is the mother plant, but in some other places in my house, um, I have another Escaletto. And I absolutely love the Escaletto um, just because of how little frail these kind of leaves are, how open it is, it just looks pretty gorgeous. Some people think, you know, that, you know, like um, bugs or something kind of open it up or something like that. And I think that that that, that is a scientific um, evolution to make bugs think that uh, other bugs have opened it up. But it's really a mechanism of um, giving the bottom leaves light and whatnot. So I'm sure there's some other factors and some stuff that y'all probably know, too. But that's just something that I've learned in my to keep going but that's my um obliqua and i'm uh i love my stairs i just think that all of them don't love me the same <laughs> if i'm being honest here i have my um luxurians here of course this is to be its newest leaf um very gorgeous very shiny um very easy plant I have this in a closed glass container with LECA. Looks like there's a bit of soil and um, sphagnum moss. As you can see um, by the roots, this plant is doing its finest. Where did I get this from? Equigenera. So, y'all, if you buy from Equigenera, then you know what the tag looks like. So, I try to do the same thing when I can't remember what plants are what. <laughs> but, um, I can't say too much more about this right here. I think that this right here is dirty because of the when I water up there and everything trickle down. But I got a tray at the bottom, which I'm gonna show you. But I can't say too much about this. I think that this is a very good plant. Um, this does get really big. So if it does get too big, like a leaf get too long out of here, of course I'll go ahead and I'll take that out of here because I don't want, um, I don't want to cut it just because it's growing up. I would rather grow up and I put another um, anthurium in here, which I can, I have some other anthuriums that I could put in here, just in case this is overgrown, so, yeah, um, looking good right now, I'm a very hardy plant, um, I just keep it water, it lacks its water, um, it still can breathe because of the roots are still outward, if you kind of see that, so roots, it still can breathe, at the same time, they kind of dive down into the water, and they just kind of move around, kind of like a snake kind of figure. Um, the other propagation that I move is my varicosum, which I actually took off of that varicosum that's at the top. So that is now, of course, like a mother plant. And I do have this varicosum here, which it looks really great. Um, I think I have the varicosum somewhere else. No, I think that this might be it. Yeah, so um, I do keep these propagations in here. It just makes it a little bit easier. I could move this around, but I kind of like it jam packed like that right there because the Escoletto isn't doing too much right now. So it's not like it needs its own kind of shine, shine right now. And this one, when I close it, you can kind of see like this right here. That's exactly what I see. So I get to see like this nice, beautiful little leaf. And then it look like there's a sheath behind it. So it look like something else is about to grow there too. You kind of see there, so um, yeah. Um, this is the second shelf, so we're moving on down. So now I'm gonna sit on the floor for this right here. And this here is a lot of my variegated stuff. So this little panel I actually got from Target. I believe that I got this idea from Lex, which that's my girl there. Um, thank you for suggesting this because this is absolutely perfect. I think it was no more than maybe five, ten bucks, something like that. So it's kind of cool because I can like take this in and out or whatnot. And like I said, whenever I water, I'll spray with my sprayer. 
and stuff will kind of trickle down and it will fall pretty much right in the tray, which is really great um, because I don't typically take off the water because a lot of these are open containers and it'll just soak up the water. So it's really great. So I'm gonna just kind of go left to right. So here is my pitcher plant um, and the person that I bought it from, um, I can't remember her name. I think it's like Empress something. I'll try to put the name on there on the on the on the video but she told me to keep it in water so i keep it in water and it's still young so um i think there's like one pitcher in there if i'm not mistaken yeah there's like one little pitcher right there oh no it's two okay so i got two pitchers on there so i just keep it in water i um, mean it just makes it a little bit easier um to keep it growing and stuff like that so i like to stay moist so i just keep it moist um the water that i give it just sits out for like 24 hours um sometimes a little bit longer and i just keep water in there so um, that just kind of makes it easier um the next thing i have here as you guys have seen this one already this is the anthurium silver blush um i think it's nsc silver blush nope oh no this is the selby silver i apologize nsc selby silver and as you kind of see there's a newest leaf this leaf over here is kind of dying off which is okay because now um, a lot of the plant is growing upward from here and it's not leaning out so much, which I don't particularly like that, but um, it's growing upward this way right here. So maybe the last person that I bought it from kind of had maybe room for it to kind of go like that, but this right here is just growing upward. So I per particularly uh, prefer um, the way that it grows this way here. So um, I'm actually kind of loving that the way that it's looking. Very gorgeous plant. Um, I like that silver venation on it and whatnot. It doesn't do too much in the back, but the front is really good. And then it's kind of like a slimmer anthurium. Um, so y'all know I like kind of like long boys or whatnot. So that's what that gives me. And then this right here is a lot more silvery than this one is to be. Uh, and when I say silver, I mean like that shine, that just like little shine. So. Pretty gorgeous. Um, I still got it in the same pot that it came in, which looks like it's just kind of a husky um, pot too. So really gorgeous. New addition, um, Alocasia Hilo. Um, and it's looking a little whimpery right now, but it's okay, cause it's on a corn. So the next corn that come up, it's gonna be looking really good. I got it in a nice chunky mix so that I don't suffocate the corn that's down there. Cause it is only on a one corn or whatnot. It does have roots down there, but this is a really gorgeous plant. Um, like I said, it's a new arrival, so you won't see it on the last allocation video, care video that I did, so it's a new addition. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll pull this out so that I can, uh, actually, let me stop real quick. Okay, cool. So the next thing that we have here is this Heteracium Rio, um, which is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous plant um i can't say too much about it i think that it's very beautiful um the leaf pattern and things like that like these epipremnums or pothos or whatnot they just give life to you the truth you get like i don't want to say rare but kind of different look as opposed to just kind of like the green pothos like this is absolutely gorgeous as you kind of see right here um that really wants to grow on a pole. Am I gonna give it a pole? Not right now, just because I have plants at the top. Um, once I kind of make moves, I can probably put this one where the Monstera is as I kind of look it up. So what I could do is like put this one on a pole, move the Monstera um, downward and um, yeah. I could probably put this one on the pole, but as you will see, I got some other things that I really want to grow on a pole too. Absolutely love the Rio on the Brazil and the Rio. They just really do give life. Um, very, very gorgeous plant. I definitely recommend if you like Pathos or Epipremnums or whatnot. This right here is my Monstera Variegated, um, Mint Variegated Edisonia. Let me see if I can get this one out of here. This one definitely gives me like um, Monstera, es not Escoleto, but um, 
what's it called? Uh, Monstera Obliqua. So, but it's so gorgeous. Like, look at that variegation on there. And this was a one or two leaf cutting, if I'm not mistaken. And then I put it on this pole. And as you see in there, those roots really did take off in the pole. And once it started to take off in the pole, then the leaves just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's kept this variegation. So um, I'm really happy at that because I know and I've heard that these will lose their variegation, but I don't know what I'm doing to keep the variegation. I guess I'm just kind of keeping the light, keep it watered. Um, and I have it on a pole. I like this because it, um, the nodal space is very short. So I can imagine that this will be on here for another, I guess you kind of count it, maybe another uh, one, two, three, four, five leaves, and then I may have to change it up. So, um, and I may have to put it on the top too because it may just not be enough room because it's already kind of touching the grill and whatnot, but absolutely, absolutely gorgeous plant. If you can invest a little money into it, because I believe they're still just a little expensive, then I definitely say um, get it. Um, it's a gorgeous variegated plant. Um, if you like variegated plants, um, it's gorgeous to me. I if, it's, if I had a friend that really wanted like a piece of it, I would definitely give some up. Um, let me see. From the back over here, I have the Plow Money Citrus, which is just a stump right now. And I'm hoping, of course, that it will give me something. It hasn't died back. The roots are still good in there. So um, with these type of stumps, you just really gotta kind of wait it out. Um, sometime it can be a few months, maybe a year, something like that, which I'll show you a plant that took a, about six months to grow. And now it's flourishing. So um, I don't know, maybe the green is telling me that it's about to come up like that green red, which mean like the the um, the cover on it, um, I forgot the name, Star Wars C, but the cover on it is like dying off. So maybe this plant is actually gonna grow up work. But um, I have it in a nice little chunky little forest mix or whatnot. I see like some little pellets and perlite and dark um, or the charcoal or whatnot. So it drains very well, so it doesn't get drowned in there. And I'm sure if I take the pot out, then you will see like some roots and stuff like that, which I don't want to take the pot out, but um, it's growing really well. So I'm gonna keep it there. Um, and hopefully soon, very soon. And of course I keep you guys updated on that when it grows out of that. So I'll go upward from here. I'm just kind of going everywhere. This is the Alocasia Blizzard, as you guys already know, because I showed it on the other one. Still growing really well. Um, I absolutely love this Alocasia. I love the variegation on it. I love the way that it is growing. Um, it's giving me no type of, um, no type of troubles, really. Um, I just pretty much water it. It's in this little, cart here or this little container so I just put water down at the bottom and whatever plants soak it up meaning that they need it if a plant doesn't then it leaves it alone so um, it makes it easy for this plant to stay hydrated when it needs it so I can't say too much about that like I said I think I got it from plant USA on Instagram so yeah I, I love this plant but not the actually i'm gonna go backwards so i got the snow queen back there and she's growing really really well and i like that i don't really have to put a pole on her and the internodal space is still small i can see me putting um a pole on it and it just growing immaculate especially if i can like get it to my wall and my um plant room tell you something that would be absolutely amazing um just to see that actually growing up my wall and i would i would probably cry every day <laughs> just because it's so gorgeous and the variegation is so gorgeous but that yeah marble queen 
looking really, really scrumptious right now. Woody chips, um, open container. Like I said, everything on here is the open container just so it can be watered. Um, when it wants to, I just put water at the bottom and just let it um, grow up that way. And then here, this is a stump, or it was a stump when I first got it uh, from Aeroid Market. This is the uh, Philodendron Sotoroy um, Variegata. As you see, uh, still wonky, kind of like a little bike um, seat, but still wonky, but maybe that's just how this one grows and it doesn't give me like that big puffy leaf that the Sotoroy uh, kind of gives. But it's still a gorgeous plant um and this one was a stump for about six months um, maybe like three months and now as you kind of see leaves are just kind of popping up out this thing now so um can i get that okay so leaves are popping up out of here now and um it's actually looking really really gorgeous with a lot of these other variegated plants down here so um i'm happy to have this I'm very proud of it growing. It is in cocoa husk. Looks like some perlite. It might be some chunky mix down there, um, but I didn't want to suffocate it. So that's just a mix that I gave it. Um, and it seemed to have taken it very well. So that leaf is just absolutely gorgeous. Like look how slim that is. But um, yeah, like I said, um, it makes it a lot easier when you can just yeah, let me see. Hopefully, I don't mess this up. Here we go. Let's try it. Okay. Boom. Just like that. Okay. And then I slide everything in. Make sure I don't hurt anything. That um, that leaf is getting really huge. It looks like there's another leaf on the way. Of this allocation. Let me see if I can slide in there and get some. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So, it's a new leaf coming out. Um, which is really gorgeous. Like I said, this is kind of like... My little variegated, um, my little variegated uh, shelf or whatnot. Um, and it's growing really well. Like I said, I just pour water down at the bottom and it just makes everything just so much more easier to um, grow. And yeah, that is my, that was my foot. This is my shelf. Again, I will uh, just kind of go from the top to bottom I won't name them again, but uh, yeah. Looking really good, like I said, I recommend it. For people who have, you know, plants, children, um, rare plants, stuff like that, and they just wanna house it all in one, especially if you don't have like plants all around the house like me, and you have like more rare plants, stuff like that, you can really fix this stuff. I mean, you can make it into a terrarium, there are, um, videos like that that would be pretty great if i can make a terrarium i think it'd be pretty dope um and i would like like a little fish pond at the bottom and all that stuff like that just because it's very um i don't know i like build stuff so um, but yeah so this is her so we are back in the place to be with jamon e or jamon g because my last name started with a g in the place to be and hopefully you got some energy with that video that I just put together and you liking it and you loving it because I love it. So hopefully you love it because I love it. If you love it, I love it. If you don't love it, I might still love it, but I'm still with you. So, yeah. But hopefully you like uh, my detolf. Um, if you have any questions, I will definitely try to answer them down at the bottom. I'm trying to get better at answering questions, um, but I seem to answer questions whenever I'm posting other videos because I'm trying to figure out my life and stuff like that and, you know, blah, 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 but I don't have school anymore. Um, so that's really good. Um, yeah, I guess I haven't talked about, uh, my, me finishing in any of the other videos, but I'm done. I finished on February 4th. I don't know when this video is gonna be going up, but I finished on February 4th. I ended with a 3.69, uh, which I think that is uh, some type of cum laude. Magnum? I think it's a Magnum cum laude. But school was really fun, school was really great. Um, I'll try to keep you guys uh, included on some other stuff. Maybe I might 
make um i gotta do some moves around here and stuff like that so maybe i may talk about school just a little bit or a lot of bit on maybe you know because i think i need to rearrange in here um i haven't done that yet so maybe i might stop and do that maybe a repot or something like that where i can talk about school maybe i'll post some i'll do a post and ask some questions or y'all can ask me some questions about school and then i can better do it that way so let's try to do it that way okay so um i got some good stuff coming up i'll be going down to orlando to see my niece me and my niece are gonna have a nice little niece and uncle day so i'm going down there to see her since i got a little bit more time now right um and i'm pretty excited about that shout out to uh, my first niece um and yeah that's pretty much it for me i don't know if the, if you got anything do you do you got anything i'm good do you got do you, are you good is your heart your mind clear okay well i guess i'll see you down in the comment if you got anything else to say um yeah or i see i'll see you on the next video i guess i, I, I see you when i see you it'll, it'll just keep it like that I, I, I see you when you see me see you at the next one okay okay i feel you no and all good i appreciate you coming through if you're not subscribed please subscribe like comment we on here and we still doing good right so um i appreciate you guys for coming through as always uh love peace and plants